Hi. Today we're going to start out laying down on the mat with your knees bent and your feet flat on the mat. Once you're settled there, place your hands on the lower ribs and overlap your fingertips at the midline, like right where your breastbone ends. Let's begin with a check-in, focusing on your breathing and giving your body just a little time to kind of release and settle into the mat. Take an inhale breath through your nose and you'll feel your rib cage expanding underneath your hands and it might pull your fingertips apart a little bit. And then when you exhale, as you blow the air out, the ribs gather together as the lungs deflate and your fingers overlap a little bit more. So as you breathe in, you can imagine your ribs opening like a zipper unzipping. And then when you exhale, closing that zipper again as your fingers overlap. As you take your breath in, try to feel movement in the back of your body like you're sensing with your hands the front of your body. And then as you exhale, feel those ribs hugging into your spine. And then one more breath in. And then just observe your abdominal muscles compressing and a gentle lift of your pelvic floor. Now let's bring your arms down by your sides and we're gonna do a couple rounds of imprint and release, just small. As you exhale, you're gonna tilt your pelvis, rocking your pubic bone up slightly so your low back gets a little flatter. As you breathe in, rock back to neutral, releasing your pubic bone down. As you exhale, tip it up. We're shortening your obliques and elongating the lower spine. Inhale back to neutral. And see if you can sense those obliques, feel them shorten as you tilt into imprint and then they're working as they get longer. So they control coming back to neutral without tension in your back. One more time like that, rocking into imprint and rolling back into neutral. All right, now let's go into our hip roll. When you exhale, curl your pelvis off the mat, roll up a vertebra at a time until you're in a bridge. Hold at the top for a breath in and then roll back down on the exhale, sequencing through the ribs, the low back, and then the hips. Inhale, come back to neutral. As you exhale, start to curl off. Reach your knees away from your shoulders as you lift up. Breathe in at the top and then roll back down on your exhale. Inhale, back to neutral. One more time like that. Exhale as you curl your hips up. Inhale, hold and then roll back down. All right, now that was a hip roll. A bridge style of lift is just straight up, straight down, instead of that articulation. Let's try a few of those, but on one leg. So you're going to put one foot on top of the other thigh. And if you can, try to draw that knee towards the midline. If that's uncomfortable in your groin, then let it stay out. Okay, so you're going to press down into your arms, the foot on the floor, and push your foot into your thigh, the top leg. And then you're going to lift your hips up on your exhale. Inhale to come back down. Repeat that again. Exhale as you lift up and inhale to lower. Twice more. Exhale, lift. Lower down. When you're lifting up, give a lot of pressure to your big toe and the inside half of your heel and lower back down. Let's switch legs. All right, so that attention in that area kind of helps you keep your legs along the midline as we lift up. So same thing on this side. Give a little pressure of the top foot into your bottom leg. As you exhale, you're going to lift your hips up and then inhale to return. Exhale as you lift, and inhale to lower. Twice more like that, still reaching your knees towards your toes. Inhale to drop, and exhale up, and inhale to lower again. All right, flip your foot off. We're gonna flip over into kneeling on your hands and knees. Let's do a couple horseshoe shifts. Start with your back flat and just give a little pressure away from the floor so we know we're active in the limbs. I'm gonna have you shift your weight over to the right side. So I've loaded up that right arm and right leg. I'm gonna swing the weight of my hips back towards the heels and then come back up on the left side. And we're just gonna keep shifting back and forth. When you get to the end range, so like the top of the horseshoe, make sure you're bringing some load onto your wrists just so we're getting good mobility through that joint. And let's do one more to each side. This is even great for your knees. Getting this little bit of rotation around that hinge joint. And then back. All right, now, let me just face you for one second. We're gonna do a little balancing exercise. You're gonna lift one leg out to the side like a doggy on the fire hydrant. 
and your opposite arm up at shoulder height and then back down. And we'll switch back and forth. It will be easiest to organize if you keep your wrist extended. So we do like stop side hand out to the side. Exhale as you lift and inhale to lower. Keep switching. Exhale up and inhale down. There's going to be a tiny bit of rotation in your pelvis. It's hard to get much lift without a little bit of a turn, but still work to stay stable at your hips and your shoulders. Let's do one more to each side and lower. Last time lifting up and then back down. Curl your toes underneath your feet. Now we're gonna take a little load into your arms to do the leg pull prep. When you breathe in, you're gonna shift your weight into your fingertips a little bit. Then as you exhale, compress your abs, pick your knees up, and just push your weight back a little towards your toes. Stay here, take a breath in, and then exhale to let your knees back down. Take another breath in. Exhale, push up your knees, shift back towards your toes. Hold there, keep bracing away from the floor, and lower back down. Two more times like that, breath in. Exhale, pick it up. Great, hold, breathe into your back, and exhale to return. One more time like that, breath in at the bottom, and then exhale as you lift. Stay there, challenge yourself for that inhale. Exhale to come back down. All right, we're going up one more time. We're gonna stay there longer. We're gonna do four cats while you're there. On the exhale, give a little pressure to the fingers. Pull the abs in, pick your knees up. Stay for one more breath in. Now when you exhale, tuck your tail under, round your spine into cat, and then inhale to stick out your tail, flatten your back. And again, exhale, curl the spine. Inhale, elongate, tail to head. Two more times, exhale, flex. Inhale to flat. One more time, exhale, curling your spine, and then flattening back out. Drop your knees down, shift your weight back towards your heels. All right, down onto your side. Bottom arm under your head, legs in tabletop. Let's get a spinal rotation in. As you breathe in, lift your top arm above your shoulder, rotate your upper body, and reach your arm back to stretch. Stay here, take a big breath in. Hold for another exhale, letting your shoulder sink a little deeper into it. Let's take another breath in to stay here. As you exhale, lift your arm up and close it all the way over. And again, inhale, top arm lifts up. Exhale as you rotate towards the back. Breathe in, feel those ribs open. Exhale, compress your abs, squeeze your inner thighs and close. Inhale up. Try to look towards your hands. That'll remind you to turn your neck. Feel the ribs expand, reach that arm nice and long. Exhale, back up and over to close. Good, let's do three to your other side. All right, so you get about a 90 degree angle at your hip, top arm reaching forward, try to make your back long. As you breathe in, lift your top arm up. When you twist, focus on that lower rib cage area again. Remember what it felt like to hug the ribs into the midline. We want that sensation. Now when you breathe in, let the breath open the back and the sides of the ribs and look for that same ab contraction as you exhale. Start your breath, then lift your arm and close. And again, inhale, top arm up. Exhale, rotate towards the back. Hold here, breathe in, and exhale to close back over. One more time. Inhale, top arm up. Rotate back, letting your head and neck follow that twist. Stay to breathe in, and exhale to close back down. All right, you're gonna go onto your back. Place your hands behind your head and angle your elbows up just a little bit. Let's go into a round of the ab prep to get some flexion in your upper body. As you breathe in, tip your chin down a little. I want you to exhale to curl up your head and shoulders and look at your knees and then come on back down as you inhale. Let's start with five of those. Always start the flexion by slightly dropping your chin leading into you curling up and then inhale as you return. As you exhale, slide those ribs down towards the hips Inhale, lower down, one more like that. Exhale, curl up, and inhale to lower. Now we're gonna come up to the top and just add a march as you lift. You're gonna exhale, lift one leg, inhale back down. Now your other foot, exhale, lift it, 
inhale lower exhale up inhale down and exhale lift next time your head goes up it's staying up you're gonna lift one leg now I want you to take your second leg up we're gonna hold your head up and do a set of toe taps total of six exhale tap down inhale lift exhale lower so as you start to drop your legs see if you can increase your flexion a little bit more and that will give you the strength to avoid falling back <laughs> one more on each side exhale tap inhale lift exhale tap inhale lift put your head down and then one leg at a time all right we're going to do a second set of that i want you to lead with the opposite leg on the march exhale as you lift lower your head back down oh i meant starting from here exhale up sorry we will do toe taps too inhale lower exhale curl up and down and lift okay next time your head goes up it's staying up so we march that first leg up stabilize yourself and then bring up your second leg all right alternate those toe taps again exhale as you tap down inhale lift other foot taps and inhale up exhale lower inhale lift tap it down and up one more each side tap and lift tap and lift lower your head then drop one foot and then the other flip over onto your stomach All right, let's take a couple of small extensions and then turn it into the superhero exercise. W shape with your arms, legs are parallel with a little space between your legs. Before you start moving, I want you to make your body feel long. It'd be a turtle popping out of its shell. So your head's reaching away from the shoulder so your neck already feels long. And I want you to gently slide down your shoulder blades and then give a little pressure into your forearms. All right, so we'll be stable there. One more breath in, as you exhale, start to tilt your head by lifting your gaze towards the end of the mat now press away from the floor with your forearms drawing your shoulder blades back and pushing your chest forward stay here to take a breath in when you exhale compress your abs start to lower down through your ribs your chest and your head breathe in using that time to get longer again exhale draw your belly away from the floor start to lift up opening the collarbones wider stay there and breathe in and exhale as you come back down one more time, this is gonna set up the new move, breathe in, and then exhale to lift. Now this is gonna become your starting position. So I want you to stay here for one more breath in. When you exhale, you're gonna lower down into a hover and extend your arms overhead like you're a superhero. Inhale, you're gonna lift back up into extension. Exhale, dive down to that hovering position, and inhale, lift back up. Exhale, dive it low. Inhale up, we're gonna do three more this time as you go low lift your legs up lowest hover you can make tiny 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 put your legs down press your chest back up and again challenge yourself to lift but the littlest you can and then lift back up one more time get low reach out through the fingers reach out to your toes and lift back up come all the way back down all right sit back in a shell stretch hips onto your heels stay here take a nice big breath in hold for an exhale drawing your abs in more and releasing your neck and your shoulders take one more breath in roll up to sitting on your exhale all right we're going to go back to some wrist bearing work so we're going to start this one um, with knees bent and i'm going to have you first do hip rolls in this weight bearing position so just like before you're going to use a curl of your hips to lift up your knees will shift forward toward your toes when you bring your hips up and then you're going to roll back down through the ribs low back and hips as you exhale curl up so if you're used to equipment work this can kind of feel like what we're doing in spread eagle where you're hanging but we're trying to do that wave motion through your spine one more like that roll yourself up getting your hips about level with your knees and roll yourself down all right on this repetition we're going to get you back to the top halfway down and then we're going to do tricep exercise if you're not comfortable doing it with your hips up you're going to bring your hips all the way down and do it that way okay exhale curl up one more time so you just feel that peak we open up the front of your hips now drop down about to there now when you breathe in you're going to bend your elbows and you're going to tap your tush on the floor and then lift back up i'm not always a fan of the word tush but I am at this moment and lift back up 
Inhale, lower down, graze the floor, push back up. Remember that feeling of being a turtle popping out of the shell? You need it now. As you bend your elbows, still keep that neck long, shoulders heavy, and lift four more times. Inhale and exhale up. Three. If you don't feel like you're getting enough range of motion, lift your hips just a little higher. One more time. And lift. Okay, roll back down. I'm trying to tire you out. I'm only going to make it harder. All right, we got one more version. Da 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 da. Hands back down. Now, this time, you're going to start with your legs straight, your toes turned out. So when you lift your hips, it will feel a little different. Still open at the front of the joint, just not quite as high. All right, we're going to lift and lower your legs like we do in shoulder bridge. On your exhale, roll your hips up. And I want you to look higher than your feet so you're seeing the wall right at eye line. When you breathe in, you're going to I'm sorry, my headphones turned off. It was not going to work. Let's try that again. On your exhale, roll your hips up. Make that long line. Let's do this. Inhale, you're going to lift one leg up to the ceiling. Then you're going to flex your foot and lower it. Point and lift it up again. Flex and lower it. Go up one more time. Leave your toes pointed. Put your leg down. Now roll down through your spine. All right, that's the choreography. Let's give that a try on the other leg. Keeping the turnout is really important on the foot on the floor to stop you from hyperextending your knees. So just check that V. All right, roll the hips up. Look ahead of you at the wall. Now take that leg up. Inhale on the lift. Exhale, flex and lower. Point and lift up. Flex and lower. Go up one more time. Lower it down. Roll the hips to the mat. All right, one more set. We're going to try to get through both legs before you come down. Hips up. Set that bridge. All right, first leg, inhale, pointed toes, flex your foot and drop, point and lift, flex and drop, point and lift, now stay pointed to lower, right to the other foot, inhale up, flex and drop, point and lift, flex and drop, go up one more time, stay pointed, lower your leg, lower your hips, bravo, all right, shake it, let's go back down onto your back. All right, the 100, rock into imprint, and then lift your legs up one at a time into tabletop position. I'll cue you into straight legs when we start the exercise. If you'd prefer to stay with tabletop, don't listen to that last command. <laughs> All right, breathe in again as you exhale. Tip your chin down, curl up your head and shoulders, reach through your arms. Let's bounce. Inhale for five, two, one, you can reach your legs out. Breathe in, two, three, four, five. Now slide the ribs down towards the hips. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and squeeze those inner thighs. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Hey, back to those inner thighs. When you squeeze them on the exhale, does it help you compress your abs more? Try to time those two sensations together. Exhale, pulling into midline. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and curl the hips towards the ribs. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and heavy shoulders. Two more sets. And out, two, three, four, five, last time. Five, four, three, two, one. Tuck your knees in, <laughs> lower your head. All right. Sorry, I'm just mapping out the super important things I need to do. We're gonna do a full roll up. Legs out straight, feet flexed. Work with your legs together so again, we can use those inner thighs. But when you squeeze them right now, if you feel tension in your low back, that's not gonna help you. So I want you to open your feet a little about hip width to make it easier to roll through the lumbar spine. Reach your arms up to the ceiling. I'd like you to incorporate, actually, bring your arms down by your side. Let's incorporate an arm circle to this set today. So I want you to take your arms out to the side, around to overhead, and now you're gonna lift your arms up and then curl forward on your exhale. Come all the way onto your sit bones, reach a little higher than your feet, start to roll back as you breathe in, and then you're gonna sweep your arms out to the side, around and overhead. Arms come up, curl forward on your exhale, round over your legs. Inhale, start to roll down, swinging those arms wide, and around to overhead. One more time this way, nod your chin, curl forward, reach over your legs, and roll back down, 
and take it to overhead. Now I want you to reverse your arms. So you're gonna circle the arms and start to curl forward on your exhale, dive over your knees. Now when you roll down, keep your arms in front of you. You'll lift them up to the ceiling and overhead to start your circle, then all the way around and exhale, flex forward. Inhale, start to roll back down, reach overhead, exhale, circle, flex forward towards your legs, and roll back down again. And reach your arms overhead one more time. Okay, take your arms back down by your sides. I'm gonna leave you on your back. I just wanna take off my sweatshirt. Okay, so now we're gonna get serious here, buddies. Okay. I hope my actual buddies laughed at me saying buddies. I wonder if Camilla will ever see this video. <laughs> okay, here's what we're gonna do. Two rollovers, two jackknives, and one set of control balance because that's the exercise I meant to do. You want to bail on this progression at any point, you're just going to stay with the rollover while I do the other things. All right, rock into imprint and lift up one leg at a time to tabletop. All right, so we begin with the rollover. I want you to reach your legs out straight. They could be together or slightly separated. Do whatever you did for the roll up a second ago. As you breathe in, lift your legs up to the ceiling. When you exhale, reach your legs over your head and curl off to your shoulder blades. Now when you breathe in, I'm gonna have you roll back down a bone at a time. Challenge yourself to stay in imprint, keep exhaling and lower your legs. Inhale, legs back up to the ceiling. Press into your arms, use the weight of your legs to curl off. Inhale, start rolling back down. Exhale, reach your legs away. Now, jackknife. Inhale, legs up and go through your whole rollover. Now, when you exhale, you're gonna reach your feet up to the ceiling, opening your hip joint. When you breathe in, start to roll back down. And you wanna keep feeling like you're pushing away through the bottom of your feet. Exhale, keep rolling down, reach your legs away. Let's try that one more time. Inhale, legs up to the ceiling, go through your rollover. Exhale, send your legs up. Inhale, breath, start to sink those ribs. Take your time, exhale, keep rolling down and reach your legs away. Okay, here comes that control balance. Go over to your roll over first and just stay there. Now, you're gonna take one arm overhead and then the other. Try to have just your index fingers touching the floor. Let your arm be off a little bit. Now you're gonna send your legs up to the jackknife. We wanna stand your shoulder blades and off your neck. Now you're gonna lower one leg like a scissor and the other leg has to reach away a little further to maintain your balance. On your inhale, the legs will pass about halfway through that range of motion. And then exhale, you're gonna drop one leg as you reach the other way. Okay, so if you keep switching back and forth, and you're flexible with that dropping leg, <laughs> mastering it is touching that leg with your hands, gesturing that deeper, deeper pull we see in the sense. And notice I say gesturing. I'm not actually pulling. My leg's doing the work. My arm is faking it. And then up, you got one more time. Reaching deeper, deeper, both legs up. All right, now keep your arms overhead. Start to roll down slowly. Take your arms off the floor. So they're a couple inches above. Roll down, that's gonna give you a better stretch for your lats, that's why I'm suggesting that. And then reach your legs away. Oh boy, knees into your chest. Well, that was something. All right, let me get you up to kneeling real quick. Let's just get a different movement through your spine. So I'm gonna have you stay upright Arms out to the side, reaching out through the heels of your hands. Let's just twist side to side. Three pulses on your exhale, rotate for three, two, one. Take a big inhale, come back to center. Other side, twisting three, deeper two, further one. Inhale back to the middle. Exhale to rotate and two and three, back to center and twist. Two, three, return. One more each side, rotate and two, three, Back to center, three, two, one, back to center. Soften up your arms a little. Just give me a side bend. Bring your lower hand across your belly, back through the middle, and then over 
and up, side bend, lift, and over. I want you to do one more to each side like this, and up, and then over. Now I'm going to add one more step. Go back to your first side, and then I want you to turn towards the floor and look just next to your knee. So now when I twist, I'm adding a nice stretch for the lat. Turn back to your side, rise back up. So we're going to side bend over, inhale, rotate, look at the floor. Exhale, back to your side, inhale up, exhale over. So I want you to pretend you're doing the mermaid on the box. We're going to curl, look down at the ground, back to side bend, and up to center. Last time, side bend over, rotate, flex, back to your side, and then back up. All right, we're going belly down again. So the next exercise is called rocking. To do it, you need to be able to reach your feet with your hands. So if you can't reach, hit pause real quick and just find like a belt or a towel or a necktie or just something you can use as a strap and then you could hold on with your feet a little farther away. All right, so I'm holding on to the top of my feet and I'm gonna create a pressure between the two of them to make this movement. I'm gonna push the feet into the hands as I in inhale and that's gonna bring me up into an extension. So I'm even lifting my knees off the floor a little bit and then I'm gonna lower back down and pull my heels towards my body. On the inhale, push your feet into your hands. That's gonna pull the shoulders back. We'll come into that extension. And then when you lower back down, pull your hands into your feet. Two more times. Inhale, lift up. Your gaze should be off the end of the mat. Knees hovering, great quad stretch. And lower back down, pull the feet towards your tush. There's tush again. One more time. That's the word of the day. Inhale up. And exhale, lower back down. Okay, sit back in your shell stretch again. Take a big breath in. Hold for an exhale. Draw your abs in just a little deeper. One more breath in. Then roll up to sitting. All right. Stand up for push-ups to finish today. So you want to use the length of your mat to crawl into your push-up position. So you're going to stand up nice and tall, take a breath in. When you exhale, drop your chin, round forward, curling down towards the ground. Then you're going to walk your hands out into a plank where you can stay full plank or go to knee down. All right, we're going to do three pulses as you lower your body. On the inhale, let's drop it for three, two, one, and then exhale, push up to the top. And again, dropping deeper, deeper, deeper. Exhale, smooth lift up. Shoulder blades will get closer together as you go down. When you brace away from the floor, they spread slightly. Inhale, two, three, exhale, lift. One more time like that. Three, two, one, exhale up. Walk your hands back in. Bend your knees, roll up. Sorry, I was laughing at how wussy my last one was. All right, arms up and down a few times. Just get that nice big swing. <sighs> one more round. All right, drop your chin. Start to curl forward towards the floor, bending your knees. All right, walk those hands out. Stabilize yourself. Let's do it again on your inhale. Lower your body for three, two, one. Exhale, lift up. And again, deeper, deeper, deeper. Exhale, lift. Lower, lower, lower. Up, you got two to go. And three, two, one. Exhale, lift. Last one for a three, two, one. Push back up. <laughs> I like to pretend if I wasn't talking, I could do this better. But no. Ah, oh, me and push-ups. All right, balance check, and then you're out of here. Stand with your feet parallel, hip width apart. I'd say get off your mat. Take your arms overhead and make a little circle around your head. Now bend your knees into a very small plie. Weight on your heels and still in a vertical torso. Now we're going to weight shift. Lift your heels and balance on the balls of your feet. Lower your heels back down. And again, heels up and drop. Heels lift and lower. On the next one, lift them and keep them up. Now extend your knees and find your balance again. Turn your head to one side, 
center, other side, center, drop your heels, drop your arms, you're all done. Have a great day. I'll see you next week.